Alright, what's up guys, Magic CK here, and you guys are watching an editing tutorial. Now, I mentioned in yesterday's Magic Workshop, if you guys would like to see this, that I just decided to go ahead with it because, you know, it is a pretty necessary tutorial. Now, RSMB is something you guys all want to use in your edits. It will make everything look nicer, um, except there is a couple of downsides to it, which I'll mention later on. And to be honest, I have no fix for it unless I want to do the entire thing manually. And like I said, I'll mention that later as well, but we're just going to get some random clip i don't even know um let's just okay let's just put this in this isn't even a clip this is just some cinematic type thing that i'm using in this edit so what we can do we can time stretch this because since it isn't super slow motion time stretch this let's go stretch factor 10 percent and now basically this is the clip it's not even the clip like i mentioned so it's basically just this uh, we could even time stretch that a little bit less. So let's just time stretch it to 20. That would look perfect for the tutorial. Uh, we're okay, right here. Time stretch 20. Okay, so now, um, as we can see, there's quite a bit of motion here. Now, if we add, um, there's a few ways to do motion blur. The easiest is just to drag on RS and B and just to select that. And as we can see, we're already getting some nice motion blur. It looks really professional and really nice. Now, the settings that I like to use, I like to put motion sensitivity at 100 and put blur amount at about 0.4. I think that looks the best. It's really subtle, but still noticeable at the same time. So if we just ran preview that right now, and for uh, and for certain clips, you might want to have more RSMB, like if there's a lot of motion or if there's something that's really warpy with Twixter, which I'll also mention in a second, then, you know, definitely you want to add a little bit more RSMB, like 0.6 or another amount. Damn it, I don't want to save um but yeah so another downside to this is say we just enable time remapping and we just easy ease these two keyframes then when it goes in the middle um let's just go like this so now it's really fast at the edges this is this is going along the um graph editor thing that i mentioned the other day i think we're gonna have to go like this a lot more sharper but yeah like that. And then say we just want to turn the blur amount up to like 2, maybe even like 5, just so I can show you guys what I mean. Then see right here is super blurry, but we're just going to ignore that. But pretty much, because it's going so slow, there's a couple, there's some duplicate frames, right? And because we're working in 60 frames per second, those duplicate frames don't really matter because there's one frame, and there's the same frame, there's another frame, then there's another frame, and then there's the same frame. But that doesn't really matter because when you watch it, it looks like, it looks like the frame rate is higher than 30 FPS pretty much, which means it looks smooth on YouTube. But the problem with that is RSMB doesn't know that. So it detects movement from this frame to this frame, but from this frame to the next frame, it's the exact same. So there's no motion blur. So you end up having frames with motion blur and then up frames without. And there's no real way to fix that except if I wanted to go into a Premiere or another program and go like this, shift this, and then um, let's just duplicate this and slide it over one and then slide this over one as well start this right here so now we have we've duplicated the um rsmb frame and then took out the other frame if that makes any sense so we just go like that so now it's now all the frames have rsmb even though it's a duplicate frame if that makes any sense to you guys so if you want to actually do that for every frame which i'm sure lots of you guys don't i definitely don't want to do that although i probably will end up doing it because it will look a lot nicer in the store episode i'm working on i do and i do want it to be absolutely perfect so that's the only downside when using real smart motion blur but yeah other than that even if you just apply it like i have here it won't even look that bad like, let's just run preview this to show you guys what it'll look like it's not even going to look that nasty in the end Yeah, like, as you can see, it's hardly noticeable unless you're really looking for it, which, you know, I sometimes am just to see. So, anyways, that's about the tutorial. I showed you guys my RSMB settings. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. I want you guys to have yourselves an amazing day. Make sure to follow my Twitch and Twitter links in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. God, dude, my intros are actually so horrible. I'm sorry. But, anyways, see you guys later.